My father was a scientist, and so that sort of put science on my radar screen early on. But then it was really my teachers and my mentors, kind of at every level, from high school to college through grad school, that really brought science alive to me and showed me how it was sort of a messy, fun, and exciting process, and that kind of continued to, to, to get me interested in science. We're really interested in the process of evolution and how it unfolds both at the cellular and the molecular level. And we, to explore these questions, we look at how pathogens drive the evolution of our cells. And so well, we look at how viruses, for example, will put uh, selective pressure on our cellular pathways um, and what the outcomes are. And so we work with the model uh, virus vaccinia virus, which is the virus that wiped out smallpox and uh, do a number of different experiments to see how it can affect our, the evolution of our immune systems and other cellular pathways. What we're trying to do is use the evolution that we're observing in vaccinia virus, even over just a short amount of time, and use that to design more uh, effective vaccines. My work has really gotten a shot in the arm from the Pew support that I have. And the reason for that is because, especially when you're a scientist just starting your career, it's really tempting to just sort of do the next logical experiment. And yet, with the support and the space that Pew provides, we can really go to the next step and sort of explore the projects that we're really interested in, but might not be quite daring enough at this stage in our careers to, to go after.